Welcome back to another video. It's a vloggies. We are currently at the airport. The line is grossly long because it's just a zoo. So it's the last day of Thanksgiving travel. We don't even have to be sad about saying bye to each other because I'm gonna see him in like 10 days. Because he's coming for sorority formal for real to gamma. Takes off at 4.50 and Chloe's flight takes off at five. So we're gonna see each other and try to get through security together. And I have to deliver her her Stanley Cup because she left it in Matt's car over the weekend. And then I'll be on my way back to Boulder. I land in Denver at 8 and then I'm hoping I can just get on the bus at like 8.30. I'm really praying because if I miss that, I'll have to Uber and Ubers are a million dollars today. So I'm really hoping that I'll make it. I land at 8.05 and the bus leaves at 8.40. So I should be fine. That's the sitch. If this was us before we were doing long distance, we'd be sad to say bye, but now a week is like nothing. I also filmed a little Black Friday haul earlier, so I will insert that here. I'm about to pack up all my stuff, but I want to do a little Black Friday haul before I put it in the suitcase. I self tan my face last night, and I just can't get this right. Like, I didn't wash it off my forearm. It's splotchy on my face. I think it's just my sign that I need to not do it. The only place I went was Aerie because the mall was a zoo. It took us 40 minutes to find parking. I went with Matt, and we literally only made it to Aerie because he had to be somewhere. So we spent an hour trying to find parking, like 40 minutes trying to find parking. That was an exaggeration. And almost an hour in Airy. Granted, we talked to Sarah and Chloe for a while because they both work at Airy, and then we waited in line for like 25 minutes after I did all my shopping. But I wanted to show these two because my mom got them from Walmart and they're so cute. They have Christmas dogs that are skiing on them. Airy had really good sales. They had underwear on sale for I think it was 10 for 35. So I got a bunch of these. I will link them all down below. I also got something from Lululemon, but I got it at Core Power because they were having a sale on all the retail stuff. Got all my undies and my thongs from Airy. And I also got this jacket. This is just a continuation of me building my winter wardrobe and this is something I can wear here when it's cold and in Colorado when it's cold it's just big and warm and super cozy and then I also got this from Aerie I don't know if I love this I may return it because I didn't try it on the fitting rooms were closed it's very free people like and I like it a lot I just need to find something to wear under it it's cute to wear off the shoulder and I like the color I just don't know if I love it I'm just gonna see if I end up wearing it and if I don't I'll take it back last thing I got at core power they were having 40% off all the retail in the stores and I got this one piece I think I'm gonna take it to get it hemmed because the shorts are a little bit long and they hem your stuff for free if you take it into the store so i'm gonna get these hemmed but i figured this would be a good thing to wear to core power because i go to core power all the time in colorado i've tried other things but i love going to hot yoga because i sweat and i feel like i get a good weighted workout in this is just me making excuses for my purchases but i know that i will wear this all the time going to those classes and it's a cute color and it was on sale i told myself i wasn't gonna buy anything for black friday except for the underwear but here we are i think i'm gonna return this i need to decide please weigh in in the comments look this is a polar bear print adorable Okay, I'm done. I made it back and I'm so proud of us for leaving it so spotless in here <laughs> This makes me laugh, but it just looks so clean in here. It looks very pristine Obviously at first glance it doesn't but you know and this is like the first time I'm seriously happy to be back because the other times I was like, okay Yay back to routine, but I'm excited to see my friends. Hello. I think this ran out of battery while I was gone. Oh, fixed it. My flight felt so fast. This is like my go-to flight outfit. This set, I wore it last time I came home too. I definitely need to eat something because I haven't really had dinner yet. And unpack, I might just save the unpacking for tomorrow. I'm the only one here tonight. So I'm gonna go hang out with some of my friends downstairs that live in the same building. What else? Oh, my flight was kind of weird vibes, honestly. There was a woman who almost fainted which was genuinely scary because I was seated near the back of the plane and there was just commotion in the back bathroom. I took off my headphones to look behind me and I was just like, what the heck is going on? Because she said she was seeing stars and then she was hot and she looked very unwell, but she was fine. So that was good. There was also a younger, or I don't really know if he was younger, teenage boy sitting in the same row as me and we were on the escalator to baggage claim at the same time getting off the plane and he was like I couldn't help but notice that you were editing something what was that <laughs> I was like oh it was just a little video it was a reel but I was like oh it was just a little video for my sister because I really didn't feel like explaining to him that I had a YouTube channel I don't know if that was rude but I was just like really over it because it took forever to get off, get off the plane and then the bags were delayed at baggage claim but my prayer about the transportation was so heavily answered. My friend Annie, you guys know her, lives in Southern Colorado and Denver is Northern Colorado. What is that noise? It's Emily's fan. I need to get to the point. So Annie lives in Southern Colorado. It just so happened that she was driving up right as I landed. So she was able to pick me up with her friend from the airport. And I was just like, thank you God. Cause my flight got delayed. So I wouldn't have been able to make the bus and I would have had to wait till 10 to get on the next one. So that was a big blessing. Also, happy day one of Vlogmas. We're lighting the tree. 
in honor of it. This is so janky. Dun, 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 dun. Happy Vlogmas Day 1. This has got to be a fire hazard of some kind. Also, this is what I've chosen to eat right now because the dining halls are open. This is going to be my dinner because we have no food. I'm doing 12 days of Vlogmas this year, just like last year. I'll be doing a video or posting a video every other day leading up to Christmas starting today. So the next video will be on the 3rd and so on and so forth. And I'm just excited to share all of my December with you guys. So welcome to Vlogmas. Happy December. It's going to be a grind with finals and traveling and everything, but it's going to be fun. And I love doing 12 days because I feel like I'd get so burnt out doing Vlogmas every single day of December. And I totally believe in quality over quantity when it comes to videos and content. And I love making longer videos and sticking to my usual vlog style of doing multiple days. So I feel like that would get compromised if I did every single day. This is unreal. I didn't show you guys all my decorations put up, but I have these little trees in the snow globe and there's snow on the ground outside. It's so Christmassy in our beautiful tree. I don't know what's going on here. This this is tomorrow's problem. This is laundry I need to do, and this is just our broom that is technically not even ours. It belongs to the building. I think we just adopted it. I'll bring it down tomorrow. I'm gonna put on my pajama pants and go downstairs to Ryan's room. I'm just putting cozy clothes on. And I'll be back to update you guys to do my skincare later tonight. It's not super late right now. It's 10.06, but I'm gonna try to be in bed at a reasonable hour before midnight so I can get a good sleep and then wake up for class tomorrow. I did my whole everything shower this morning, which is kind of controversial behavior because I got on a plane and I went to the airport, which is like germ central, but it made more sense in my mind to take my shower at home, shave everything at home because I would much rather do it there than in the communal bathroom. Taking an everything shower in the communal bathroom is a full time commitment. You have to get the shower caddy. You have to make sure you have everything in the shower caddy. You have to get multiple towels, like one for your body, one for your hair. So I just did it this morning. I've never been a big germaphobe. I'm just kind of like, oh, well, which is probably not the best thing. But as I always say, it is what it is. I am back in our lovely communal bathroom. You know how I'm in my new like skincare era? I was talking about how I bought this new face wash the other day. Well, I left it in my shower at home. <laughs> and I also left my toothbrush at home. It's because I put the face wash in my shower and I didn't look in my shower and I was looking for things to bring back. And I left the toothbrush in this little holder um, on the mirror. Anyway, I got these little head wraps on Amazon. So I probably won't even need them. So I forgot that face wash. It doesn't make sense to buy a new one because I'm going to be back home in like three weeks. I'm breaking out a little bit and I think that's from either the tanner or the flight or just how bad I ate this week. I don't know. Or dehydration. It could be so many things. I just want to brush my teeth so bad and I feel so gross not brushing my teeth. So, oh well, I have mouthwash. So it is what it is, but I'm just kind of annoyed at myself for doing that. I sound like such a broken record with this stuff, but I wanted to read this. It's another enlightening TikTok that I saw. I'll put it on the screen. Just as a reminder to all college kids heading back to school after break, you can love school as much as you can love home. They can coexist. College is a learning experience and there will be times where you feel like you're right where you belong and times where you feel like you don't fit in at all. It's all normal and before you know it, you'll be a senior heading back for the last time. I literally saw that as I was getting on the plane and I feel like it was just the perfect thing for me to read. I'm happy to be back and I just feel like this next little stretch is gonna be a grind, but there's so much fun stuff the next few weeks too because we have four more and it's just gonna be so snowy and Christmassy. I'm seeing God. This is not even doing anything. I'm seeing God and his faithfulness in a lot of life lately. I also saw this right after I read my devotional and I felt like God was just literally showing me this himself. And this is the beauty of social media. Sometimes it can be so negative and breeds comparison, but I also see things like this and I think about what a blessing it is. One of my yoga instructors actually posted this and I think it's her church notes. It says Romans 5, 1 through 5. Jesus did not come to get us. This is a really good one. Jesus did not come to get us out of the mess. He came to be with us in the mess. If you feel like your life is messy and there's no hope, God is with you in all of it. There's literally no place that you can go. What's the verse? I'll put it on the screen. There's no place you can't go that God is in. He's good and he's faithful and he loves you and he has a perfect plan for your life. I have my outfit for tomorrow all set out. It's gonna be 30 degrees when I walk to my first class, so super puff it is. Also, I'm really proud of how my nails coordinate with this. I had to open my suitcase to get these out and get my skincare stuff, but I'm just gonna deal with the rest of it tomorrow and how to get these out. I don't even know why I bothered bringing them home because I didn't wear them, but I brought them. I don't think I've ever slept alone in here, so it's weird to go to sleep by myself. But that's all for today. I will see you guys bright and early. It's actually not even bright and early, like 9 a.m. I'm holding up my phone light, so it's not pitch black. Tomorrow's probably just going to be a jam-packed day of getting back into the swing of everything. So I'll see you in the morning. Good night.
Good morning. It's so freaking pretty outside. I was on my phone scrolling like immediately when I woke up, so I should have gone out of bed earlier, but I'm gonna try to make a hot chai because I only ever made an iced one, but it's really chilly, so I wanna make a hot one. I'm also listening to this song. It's so good. It's my favorite worship song ever. Just puts you in the best mood ever. I'm gonna do my makeup and just get myself ready for the day. Okay, here's the plan. I have limited time to do this. Regular oat milk, pumpkin oat milk, a little swirl and then the chai concentrate I need to get the frother i can't find the frother tastes about right i did not need this cup i don't know what i'm doing with it and i'm gonna pour it in here and just heat it i'm also gonna have this for breakfast oh my lord i'm gonna have this for breakfast as well and top off the chai with a little whipped cream beautiful okay i will see you guys when i'm back from class cheers to vlogmas oh christmas Christmas tree Been wondering just what you mean Hey! Got my stuff done that I needed to Or at least most of it and I was supposed to go to the store No, actually, I need to restart So, I did everything I needed to do You saw in the time lapse, unpacked, dishes, whatever I still have more to do, but I was supposed to go to an F45 class that I signed up for But I was really concerned about my toothbrush So I was like, no, I'm just gonna go to the store, get the toothbrush And bring in that Lululemon thing to get hemmed But I was talking to Kira about it And she went to the dentist and she had a million toothbrushes So she's just giving me this one I also popped a little pimple on my face, so it's kind of red And I made an emergency Because I just feel like I'm getting kind of sick And I, it was inevitable As Matt was dropping me off, he's like, I feel kind of sick Like I feel like I'm getting sick So we probably got it at some event together or he gave it to me or whatever but i'm trying to kick it because it's really not fun to be sick when you have so much to do but now that i have this time i'm just gonna go take that lulu thing in because i can take the bus and it's right by a target so i might just run in there so i also need stain remover and there was something else i can't remember i didn't get everything i needed to done but there's stuff i can do tomorrow so i'm just gonna do that then or tonight because we have chapter at Delta Gamma, and I have Young, I don't know what's going on with my hair, and I have Young Life, so it's kind of a busy night. I was gonna show you what we have for dinner, but I can't really do that, because it's past four, but we can just go on here and request meals, and if you don't live in the house, you get to eat at the house four times a week, including the chapter meals. I'm off to Lululemon, I look like a marshmallow. All the Christmas stuff is up in this shopping center. It all looks so cute, and this is the best mall. They have actually everything. Okay. Here's dinner. Hi. And Hi. Mason's here too. Chapter is over. I am so tired right now. Exhausted. I feel very drained. The house is all decorated for the holidays. Oh Chloe so and Sienna say hi. You no, know, super is on um, <laughs> I just, I just, Oh yeah. Hey, do you have a discount code I could use with you? For Aritia? Yeah. I wish. Maybe they'll partner, partner with you. Aritia? <laughs> you get Sponsor me. Please. We promote this <laughs> so much. This thing is super fun. Can I what? try it on? Yeah, I love try it. on haul. Oh! Ooh, that fits Isn't good. it cozy? How's your life? How was your break? It was good. Saw some friends. Ate some turkey, but we did have gravy on Thanksgiving. It was really upsetting. <laughs> but besides that, it was great. I went to Ohio. Home sweet home. Happy to be back with a wonderful Hey Miss Katie baby. Dun, 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 dun. Isn't it cute? Hello. Happy Chapter What's Monday! Up? <laughs> the stockings say DG. So cute. It's a little dark in here, but I'm back. So I didn't do a great job of vlogging all that. I feel like we should light the tree. You're gonna light up. I know. You just like swung your booty in a circle. It's crazy. Whoa! Gorge. I fixed the fire hazard by just um, resting it on the chair. Before, I'm not even kidding you, it was suspended by the cords. I have to figure out a way to get this suitcase under my bed again. I'm just not her not sure how this is gonna happen. Okay, this is actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Half this stuff I really don't need. I don't know why I haven't gotten rid of this. This is the book of letters that Matt has written me, our whole relationship. And I put this in the cover picture because they had this at the host counter or the host stand at the restaurant of our first anniversary dinner. Look at them. We're gonna have a meet and greet. 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> we look so stupid with this part. Kira's looks crazy. I just put this all back. Ah! That just spawned out of the closet. I needed to put this small suitcase in the big suitcase. I don't even know if anything I'm saying makes sense right now. I think I'm just gonna leave this out because I have to repack up all my bags again in two and a half weeks. <laughs> Does anyone remember Poot Lovato? We love Poot. The self-tan situation just keeps getting worse. It's on my chin. It is 
9.55, almost 10 o'clock, but I'm gonna go shower. I feel like I've been so all over the place today because I didn't take my ADHD meds. So I set a reminder to do it for tomorrow. I'm not gonna forget because I'm just all over the place. My mind's in a million different directions when I don't take it. Last time I came back from being at home, I had a raging headache because I didn't drink enough water. But I feel like I did a good job this time. Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. I just ran into Emily, like, coming back. She was leaving, I was coming back, and she was like, are you okay? Because that's how disheveled I look. I went to class this morning, and then I went to hot yoga, did some filming in between for Q and A. Q&A. Wow. And then I went and had lunch at the house. It was so good. It was like a deli bar. And then I walked all the way back to my dorm, which is like a 25 minute walk. It's quite a ways. So I was just feeling so winded when she saw me. I was like, <laughs> just not doing well. Anyway, I didn't vlog much this morning because I was really focused on filming that other video. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit in here because I have my daily getting ready mess that I make and then I'm just gonna shower my body and change. I'll slick back my hair tomorrow because I don't wanna wash it yet. And then I'm going with Annie to a coffee shop so we can get work done because we both have so much to do and we're just gonna sit there and try to get as much done as possible. It was so hard to wake up this morning. I had to pry myself out of bed for my 8 a.m. I'm just still kind of getting back into the groove of school and going to class. I'm wearing another sweat set today. I was wearing it with this vest earlier and I'm just learning more and more every day how to dress properly for this weather. And I'm really proud of myself because I did a good job today. I wore this this morning when it was cold to class and then I took it off and just wore the sweat set to yoga with my workout clothes underneath. That's the update for today. I'll vlog the rest of the day and keep you guys updated. Right now, before I go, Annie's done with class at like three. It's almost two. So I'm gonna shower, get myself organized and then just list out everything I need to do. And after that, we're going back to the Delta Gamma house tonight because we have our first RPW. It stands for Recruitment Prep Workshop. So we're preparing to recruit new girls in the summer or next fall already. It'll be in August, so it feels like the summer, but I feel like we just went through rush and everything's happening so fast. But that's the plan for the rest of today. Look at this disaster. There's a lot going on here, so I'm gonna tidy it up really quick. Everything is clean for the most part and I need to address the fire hazard here. This is my cord situation. It's just an absolute disaster because it's so long. And I was told to get a 15 foot, based on all it told, I watched a bunch of TikToks, did a bunch of, bunch of research, and so many people who had already gone through their freshman year of college said, get a super long charger because you might only have one outlet in your dorm room, you don't know where it's gonna be. I got really lucky because my outlet's right here and there's four plugs but this is just like no longer okay because it sits under here so i ordered a desk organizer thing it's coming tomorrow and i'm gonna get this situation figured out because the surge protector has a really long cord didn't know where that outlet was gonna be it's just odd packing for and moving into a space that you have no idea the details of i've covered this before but if you're new i was sent this video i got in contact with somebody who had a friend who lived in this building also in a triple the previous year and without that i would have never known where my bed was supposed to be what the layout of the room looked like what i needed to get nothing they just literally don't tell you anything anyway i'm gonna deal with this court situation because it's so bothersome and it's so frustrating because i can't put my chair in and there's just like things everywhere so i'm really hoping that the cord organizer will do the job and get this sorted because it's honestly so infuriating first world problems for sure like i should not be complaining about this but i feel like i had to explain myself